Welcome to three Ma uh, Fremont News at 3 p.m. Anyhow, welcome to the news today with your host, Kevin Line and Bob Carlo. Now, anyways, let's get right into the news. So, as of today, there has still not been any danger warnings put out for the town of Fremont. Now, now though, there is more information about the nuclear bomb. They are getting closer and closer to confirming that there's a nuclear bomb in the area. It still isn't completely confirmed, but we are sure that they will confirm it within the next few days. Now the question is, what are they going to do when that happens? Take it away from Bob. Well, as somebody that has, like, I don't know, three brain cells, unlike our stupid mayor, uh, I've been thinking, how about we just put the town under a home warning, get them into a shelter, get food, get supplies, and get everything. But of course, no, the mayor doesn't want to waste money, even though it's clearly the right option to do. I mean, come on, Kevin. Anybody who, huh? Anybody who has a fucking brain would know not to do this. God damn it. So annoying. You know, even though you're being a professional, I have to agree. He is being a knucklehead, brain dead idiot for not bringing this town, for not uh, leading this town into a warning. Instead, I'm dragging it out like a uh, old horse. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Now, just in new, just breaking news that is coming in right now, we've got some new information about the nuclear bomb. Reportingly, it is a 4,000 inch bomb that has a. Uh, Reportedly, it's a 4,000-inch bomb with a huh, by 1,000 inches wide. It is also reported to be huh, it is also reported to be 300 times bigger than the huh, Hiroshima bomb. Which, uh, if you know how large that bomb was, well, it wasn't that large, but still, it, it's pretty large. So it, it could be more powerful than that bomb. Which, Bob, I mean, you gotta agree with me. That's pretty crazy. I absolutely agree 100% with you. That is crazy. If that bomb was dropped on the town or God knows anywhere else, it would cause mass destruction to the earth, causing huh, causing global huh, fallout. This is why this brain-dead buffoon should be doing his job instead of huh, drinking coffee and getting his waiters huh, and tipping his waiters huh, and then posting it onto Instagram huh, like he's so cool. <laughs> I spot jealousy. No, I'm not jealous that he has waiters that are really hot and funny and all that stuff. <laughs> You're so jelly, dude. Jelly? What are you, 10 years old? Who the hell says jelly? <laughs> Go stuff it in your socks. Um, excuse me? Uh, what? What's wrong? I was just joking around. No, 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 no. No, this isn't a joke, dude. You realize that the entire town or the entire world can be at stake because this idiot doesn't want to do his job? Yes, I'm talking to the viewers as well. Y he's a brain-dead buffoon, as you said. I agree with you, but you're acting ridiculous. You know what? If he doesn't want to do his job, I'll do it myself. Okay, I'm leaving. Where the heck are you going? I'm leaving. I'm... <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, ugh, yikes, um, so, uh, I don't, I don't know what to say, um, uh, Jerry, get, turn off the camera, turn off the camera, Jerry, alright, turn off the camera, I'm doing it right now, God, dude, did you just see him storm off the set? <laughs> yeah, I did. Man, this town's going out of shit. You're telling me. I mean, dude, crazy. Huh? Dude, crazy just had an outburst on TV. <laughs> That's going to be really embarrassing in five years. Yeah. <laughs> Cheerio! That was surprisingly polite for somebody who just stormed off the set of a show. Y yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible. Ah! Finally, the moment you have been waiting for. Oh, I'm so tired. That was such a long car ride. I know, Brad. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get a snack. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's go. Oh, hi, Chris. What's up, man? Oh, nothing really. It's been a while since I've seen you. I haven't seen you since uh, Phoenix. What's been going on? Oh, not much. Just, uh, well, we took a month to get here. How did it guys take you a month? Uh, well, we were kind of stuck in, uh, we kind of got off track, but that's besides the point. It's nice to see you, man. So, what's happened since, uh, we were last here? Well, a lot, actually. So, first off, um, obviously, Joey Logano got back here. I haven't seen him since he got back here, which was, like, four days ago. 
And, uh, I mean, oh yeah, there's a nuclear bomb threat if you haven't heard, but eh, I don't know if it's real. It could be fake. I mean, dude, what's the realistic chance that there's actually a nuclear bomb in this town? Well, the calculations tell me that a uh, nuclear bomb in this small of a town is about 1 in 500 billion. Nerd. Okay, I'll just be leaving then. You guys are so mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's pretty funny. High five. Anyways, seriously though, uh, um, this nuclear bomb threat is uh is pretty bad. You're telling me? I heard that it's very very likely now that there's a nuclear bomb in the area, but the mayor hasn't brought out a danger warning. Really? That's really dumb. Yeah, he's really stubborn. I really hate the guy. Yeah, he sounds like a jackass. <laughs> kind of like your mom. What was that? Nothing. Yeah, though, uh, have you seen Shark Dude? No, uh, the last time I saw him was like a month ago. I don't know, he, he's been missing for a while. Huh, interesting. I haven't seen him in a while either. I don't know what's going on. Eh, I think he, I don't know, maybe he, I, I mean, the last time I saw him, he was out here, and then before I know it, he's gone, and I haven't seen him in a month. You think he's okay? Well, that's the problem, I don't know. He's missing. Is there any, you know, evidence to where he is or anything? Well, no, not really. The police have been trying to find him, but nobody knows where he is. All right. Oh, um, all right. Well, nice seeing you. Um, I'll see you later. See you later. Hey, uh, are you all right? Eh, not really. I'm actually a little nervous right now. Eh, that's fair. Hey, you wanna, you wanna hang out over here in the general store? Maybe get uh, some groceries since we haven't been here in like, I don't know, a month. Yeah, okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. <laughs> oh, what idiots, man. They have no idea what's coming for them. They're all out and about. Oh, man, my plan is working so perfectly. Oh, I don't think it can be any more perfect than it is right now. Oh, finally, Hammer. My life's work is coming together. I can finally impress my father. And I can finally feel complete. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. What's wrong? Eh, this just doesn't mean as much to me, you know? I, I, it's not like my life goal, like it is to you. It's just, it's just a job. Eh, I could see that. Ugh, you guys are not getting away with this. I saw that Brad and, huh? B Brad and Ryan are back. And they'll get you, I promise. Oh, really? You think those two can get me? They can't, uh, uh, compared to my power. Huh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I'll be surprised. About what? How weak they are? <laughs> oh yeah, laugh away, dumbass. You, you'll be, you'll be, you'll pay for it later. Uh, uh, you think I will? Eh, I'll be fine. Trust me. Trust me. Just one question, though. Yeah? When is the uh, time of the attack? Ooh. I plan on doing the attack on the 17th of December. It's the perfect date. Oh yes, everything will be aligned on that day. Why? Well, it, it just will. It, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I won't ask questions. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, great. Now they're singing another hello, hello song. That's really annoying. Oh, I hope they get here soon, because I don't want to listen to another hour of this goddamn huh, terrible singing. I really don't. Also, I don't want to, obviously, I don't want to be in another hour of his presence in general. So, please, come back. Please, end my suffering. <laughs> <laughs>